The new campaign that we're doing for Urban Ministries of Durham is called Names for Change. And basically the idea came about um, when we were watching the news one day and we saw that a um, brand had paid millions and millions of dollars for naming rights to a sports stadium. And we started thinking, well, if sports stadiums can sell the naming rights to their buildings for millions of dollars, could we sell the naming rights to the items that we use every day to raise awareness about how important they are and to raise money for Ministries of Durham? So we created this site called namesforchange.org and people can come there and browse about 170 items. And there's a description for each item talking about how much that item means to someone's future. It's a website that'll catch you off guard. It'll, uh, it'll make you a little uncomfortable because it's dealing with, with everyday things like tampons and, and, uh, and toilet paper and toilets and all the things that, that we take for granted. So the idea that there's people in our community who lack even the most basic things, um, to see all those basic things uh, on a website um, treated with the kind of importance that they should, I think, get, um, there's, there's something powerful and, and we, we tried to to bring that across. Users will be able to come and name that item, buy naming rights for it. So they'll go through this process of buying the item and they get to create this like customized poster um, for themselves to share, to print uh, via third party if they want to or they can save it. The, the goal is to make them each like their own little piece of graphic design. So they're like pop art, right? So these things are treated like, like like art, like something that, that belongs in a museum, that belongs on a wall. We started working with them in 2009. One of the things that keeps us coming back to Urban Ministries of Durham is um, an unfortunate thing, which is the homelessness still exists in our community. I think the other thing that keeps us coming back is the passionate people at Urban Ministries of Durham and the work that they're doing. Um, I think we're, we're always drawn to working with passionate organizations, passionate brands, and passionate people at those brands. And Urban Ministries is really no different in that sense. We trust McKinney's creativity. So it's a two-way street. While they have respect for our passion and our work, we have respect for their creativity and for their understanding of new ways to tell our story to new audiences, especially those who rely on social media as opposed to the mail. 80% of our funding comes from public sector sources, and we use that funding to provide food and clothing and shelter and to help those who are really struggling to find their way in this world. When you think about what am I doing in the world, like what, what, uh, what, sort, what am I contributing to? Um, no matter how, how insignificant those little things seem, having that connection with a thing that you know is doing good over there I think can be powerful. Yes, we're trying to raise money, but we're really trying to reach out to people um, and create a connection to them. So they're in the Durham community as well, and we really want them to understand that there are a lot of goods and services that may seem like little things to us, but actually make a really big difference in the lives of people who come to Urban Ministries. 